I don't even really know where to begin with this video. I have been thinking about it for a while and what I was going to say, but the second I turned on the camera, words just aren't coming out. And if you guys follow me on my other social medias, you already may have a glimpse of what is going on here. I feel honored to have the opportunity to be able to talk about this and share and hopefully make somewhat of an impact in this person's life because they have already made such an impact in mine. This person has been a very, very dear friend of mine for as long as I can remember, and his name is Nico Grossi. A lot of you guys clicked on this video because you may already know Nico. A lot of you guys clicked on this video because you're a viewer of mine and you just watch all my videos, which is why I'm going to ask you to please watch until the end because this isn't about me. This is the work of everybody coming unified together and making an impact, not because it's their son, their brother, their best friend, their significant other, but because they can put themselves in the shoes of what if this happened to them personally or one of their loved ones. And with the situation this severe, I feel like it may be a lot easier to do that. On the morning of February 8th, 2018, Nico was involved in a very serious head-on car collision. The other person in the accident was okay because they were driving a much bigger vehicle. But Nico, however, the only reason he is still here with us is because of the paramedics who saved his life and airlifted him to a nearby hospital. The only reason his family even found out about this was because his boss realized that Nico hadn't come into work. And that's not like Nico. He's not one to show up late and if he is running late he'll call or he'll at least answer his phone. So his boss looked at the route in which he had taken to work and saw that there was a crash and one of the vehicles was the car that Nico drove. He contacted Nico's mom. They started looking more into the car crash and calling nearby police stations, nearby hospitals trying to find out his whereabouts. It was his mom, his brother who was called out of school once they figured out what was going on and his girlfriend Gianna who was still at his house who Nico had kissed goodbye that morning before heading out to work thinking that he was going to see her later that day. It wasn't until one of the police officers told his girlfriend Gianna where he was that they were able to get over there in hopes of seeing him. They were still not able to do so upon getting there because there was no identification confirmed so his family and girlfriend were literally sitting in this hospital not knowing if he was there, not knowing if he was dead or alive, not knowing his condition or state at all. The only way that they were able to know that he was there later was because of his tattoo but that still didn't count as like being able to see him. So people that he worked with went to the scene and found his ID and brought it into the hospital. He wasn't awake through any of this. He was heavily sedated on a form of life support that was helping him breathe. They had to amputate his left leg above the knee immediately to stop the bleeding. He had another surgery yesterday. By the time this goes up, he might have had another one too. He will have many surgeries that lie ahead. His other leg is also broken in more than one place. Both of his arms are broken. His nose is broken. They found at least 25 fractures. When you get in a car crash in general, anything where your body is damaged like that, there are going to be a lot of problems that we're not even aware of right now. I'm sorry if the details are really graphic, but I was told that they would be okay to be released because it sort of explains why I need your guys' help. I will be linking a GoFundMe in the description box below, and if you guys could check that out, it would really mean a lot to not only myself, but Nico's family, his friends, and everybody who cares about him, including maybe some of the people watching, or maybe you're a complete stranger and you already feel compassion for his story. These are all things that get covered by insurance and this is definitely not something that anybody plans for. Getting a prosthetic leg, physical therapy, the airlift, etc. He has been making some significant improvements. There have been instances where he has shown that he is able to hear people like he held his mom's hand or he's not into doctors. I will keep you guys updated on the GoFundMe page as much as I possibly can. Share the link, hashtag stay strong for Nico. So when he wakes up he's able to see how much everyone cares because when you go through something like this, not only is it physically exhausting, it's mentally exhausting, emotionally exhausting in every way. Please send him all light, positive thoughts, positive energy, prayer, and even if you guys want to send him a letter or a card, even if you don't know him and like you feel as if you have some kind words, please go support him. The fact that we could already have this going for him by the time he wakes up and I'm trying to figure out a way to thank everybody individually on the page who has already showed their support. Even if you could just donate a dollar or if you could afford more, whatever you can. I really want this to reach its highest potential possible because nobody should have to go through this. I love you guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.